This is Wednesday afternoon training. I was actually really happy with today's training overall. We did a light session this morning. I uh, did a lot of technical work in addition to some, some pretty decent uh, amount of volume of snatches and clean and jerks. Donnie worked a lot on his line of pull. He has a problem with the bar going forward off the floor. Um, Tom worked a lot on staying back on his heels. With both Tom and Caleb, we did a lot of uh, snatches and cleans with pauses at both the knee and the hip to make sure they were able to stay back on the foot the whole pull. Uh, Tom also did quite a few, or excuse me, Caleb also did quite a few uh, jerks with a slight pause at the bottom of the dip and drive to keep the hips straight. Uh, as you can see this morning, or this afternoon, we're doing uh, doubles. We start out with doubles from the hang on the snatch. Or oh, John with 130. This is Kevin with 120. I was pretty happy with John overall. See, he makes this 140 look double look really, really good. Uh, he had what I would say is a good training session. He had to be motivated by some uh, by some bets, putting some money on the line. Later in the training session, we got to clean jerks, but heels, heels, heels. Put it over your head. Overall, a lot of good work out of him today. There you go. As you can see, Tom is doing a better job there, staying back on his foot than he normally does at the top. I'm hoping that uh, this work from the hang will carry over to the full list for him. This is a real nice set by John here. I don't think he takes a step during this set. Down and up. As you can see no adjustment on the recovery. Yes. It's a well, well balanced, technically good snatch. See Tom nice. not jumping forward like normal. Let's go Tom. That's good. Good set at 120. Nice. I think the morning session paid dividends for both Tom and Caleb. That boy is quick, isn't he? Come on now, stick it, Kevin. Come on, Caleb. I think that first one was a mess. He covered it up pretty well, but I don't think he was holding that one. Nice. Come on, Caleb. You can cover that one up. No step. Good. What I asked them to asked them to do after they work up to a heavier weight was come down and hit three sets of three. Without Good. taking a step. By that, I mean complete all three reps without having to step forward or back, backward to adjust. Good. John does a nice job of accomplishing that on that on the last one. That's a miss by Tom. Comes back with two good ones here, and John pulls off a pretty nice set at 130. Seeing what the bar down early there to save energy doesn't work that wasn't a mess by John. Nice. He gets two without a nice. step. I believe has to uh, has to adjust on this third. Yeah. Almost loses it behind. So. Nice. That's Donnie with a 180 clean off the box. Worked a lot off the box this morning with Donnie. Under the clean and jerk, what they were doing initially is uh, clean from the hang. Clean jerk, clean jerk, both cleans from the hang. Straight dip and drive by Caleb. That's what I want to see him do instead of rolling the hips forward like he does sometimes. I 
Now watch this set by uh, John. This is 160. And he acts like double and it almost kills him. Remember that, because later in the workout there's going to be uh, some money on the line if he can triple this. <clears throat> Very hard time standing up at that second one. Remember that for later because he comes up with it a lot easier on the second rep than the one. This is uh, Caleb's attempt at a double with 170. I bet John 20 bucks that Caleb could make this. John bet that he couldn't. Nice jerk there. tell you the truth, after he made this clean, I thought I had just won $20. That's obviously very nice clean, but then he gets loose on the jerk. There you go. John took 20 bucks away from me on that lift. We had to convince Kevin that he could actually do these with heavy weight. He kept wanting to take weight off the bar from what the other guys were using. He's got 150 here, but well, he wanted to try to do his working sets with 130. Uh, there's something about Kevin. He's not very good at lifts from the hang. Uh, he just can't get under him. Or he thinks he can't. The thinks he can't might be more the reality of the situation. Because obviously he's getting under him just fine here. John's 170. You'll see during this set he looks back at Caleb because Caleb just missed 170. All the guys have a little rivalry going on. There's a look back at Caleb. Want to make sure he's watching. Tom managed to largely keep from going forward on the foot this workout. I'm not saying his lifts were perfect, but one step at a time. Here's Caleb's second attempt at the 170 double. Oh yeah! Boy, he stands up good with this. Oh, keep, keep those hips back on the jerk, Caleb. You see him just get a little off balance with his second one. Oh, he's backwards a little. Comes up there. I told Kevin to go 160 on this one. Uh, John and Caleb made fun of him a little bit for thinking he couldn't do more than 50. As you can see, there's 55 on the bar, not 60. You've got to convince Kevin he can go heavy on that on the hang lifts. He's just not confident.
picture. Here's John's first down set. For the down sets, we did three cleans, jerked the last one only. Still going from that. Jerk the third one, John. And Tom's going back there, actually, with the same same weight that John is. There's John with the set at 150. That was the first hang clean. Watch how hard this is or how easy it is, however you look at it, because after he did this one, uh, he had he bet me double or nothing off the Caleb bet when he bet that Caleb couldn't do 171 on that one. He bet me uh, double or nothing after the set that he could do 160 for a triple jerking all three reps. I bet him that he couldn't do it. See again, Tom, not jumping forward. Not perfect, but not going forward, which is good. He really should be using five or ten more kilos on this exercise. Getting a lot, a lot of downtime between those reps. Not gonna last forever. Got a lot of pull. Very good pull. Go, Caleb, straight hips. Pulls the hips forward just a little. Just a little. Here's the bat. Here's the one we we uh, we had eighty bucks on. I already owed him 40. We went double or nothing. He could do uh, three clean, three good reps here. And he had to jerk all three of them. And of course, usually if Donnie's around, he'll recruit somebody else or do it himself and tighten up the weights on the bar. Anybody that's going for money or going for a PR, they're doing more than one rep. So him and Tom are tightening John's weights up so he can rest for a second, doesn't have to do it himself. Tell me if that second rep wasn't easy. Easier than when he did it without 80 bucks on the line. We'll see this third jerk's a little questionable, but I let him have it. <laughs> what the video cut out and you didn't see was he went and laid on the side on the floor and it fetal position for about 30 seconds but I'm sure he just won $80 so I'm sure that eased the pain a little bit Kevin makes this set of three last about 10 minutes but 
I did convince him to get 150 on the bar. As you can easily see with how much the bar is dropping, he, he could easily do more. Just got to convince him of that. Confidence is a, is a big thing for a lifter. It's hard to go into that bar if you're not 100% confident and committed. Know that you can do it. And he does that easily. And from there we went on to do uh, front squats. Uh, the guys each did three sets of three on front squats. It was about a two and a half, three hour workout. Added to about a two hour workout in the morning. Overall I was very, very happy with today's training.